Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I got at the Charlotte area yarn crawl. So if you guys have been keeping up with Erica over at the Lopsided Crafter, you'll see what went down on Saturday. And she took a video of me acting like a moron uh, this morning when we went to our last store. But there are seven stores that were participating this year in the yarn crawl. Uh, we ended up hitting six stores on Saturday and then doing the seventh store this morning. So <clears throat> we, we did a lot more shopping than we had meant to. It was just so much easier because literally on the way home from the first four, we passed two of them directly. So, and my poor husband was such a good, uh, Good sport about it, taking me around. We were starving by the end of it. Uh, we hit, got to the first store at 10, and Troy and I got home at 2.30. So it was a pretty long little stretch there. But I did make some discoveries that were more than worth sharing. I did not take any video footage. I didn't take pictures or anything like that. I just 100% went with the option of sharing with you guys what I bought. I will have the stores linked down below. Many of them do have storefronts online, so you can order from them directly. Two of them do their own dyeing. One is just amazing. If you go back and watch Erica's video, she did take footage of the store, so that's why I show up in her video and act like a moron. But it was so much fun. The store in Davidson was just spectacular. And once again, like I said, one of the shops I had already shopped at recently with the Southern Comforts Fiber Market. So let's get on with it. So first off, we'll start with my normal yarn store, Tingles on Main. I will tell you the stores as we go through them, as long as I can remember what store is what. Not everybody had bags with the store name on them, though. But... Elizabeth put together a goodie bag in here. Not only do we have the little little baggy bag, but we have some post-it notes, memo to do, and message. Let's set that there. We got a cute little pen. Do do do. And so you can clean your little screen. And it has a little. So you can go like hands-free everywhere. And then we also got a little bag uh, or a little bottle of hand sanitizer, which is highly useful. Once again, we're heading into cold and flu season. Let's forget the normal stuff, like there were the unique stuff going on. Normally we're heading into cold and flu season. So sanitizer good. I did find two things back on the clearance wall to get. I did pick up another skein of Wonderland. This is uh, the Alice, which is the DK base. And the color on this one is... A blaze. So I am a sucker for picking up their yarns when I'm there on clearance. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these DK Alice yarns, but I will do something. And then there was this gorgeous green back there. This is a fingering weight yarn. This is monochrome fingering. And I just, once again, like I've said, I've been in this really like fall vibes mode. So both of these work for that. They they actually look beautiful together, even though they're different yarn weights. But love that. So the first store I went to, that was the last store. Now this is the first store. The first store I went to was a Tangled Yarn Shop. And they are the one that is in Denver, North Carolina. It really wasn't that hard to get to the stores Oops, that's a gift for somebody. I'll hide that to the side. It really wasn't difficult to get to any of the stores that weren't nearby. So I will say that. And it was like a nice, we got off of 485 and it was this beautiful like rural drive around. And when we went to Davidson, it was just also fantastic. So I got a mini skein set because who can pass up that? Ha <laughs> ha. And then also I got Christmas in July from the Knitsmith. Now, I did share the Knitsmith previously. She was at the Southern Comforts Fiber Market, and I did purchase from her. She's the one that had the mystery sock set that I got. 
but I just love the colors. So I decided to grab it and did not mean to just buy sparkly yarn at the first store. That just, that just happened. That was accidental. All right. Next up here. Ah, so she doesn't have her, I can't remember their name. I don't have a tag here. Slip this out and see if, nope, oh crud. This is the Dyer one. Um, they are an actual studio. Um, let's see if I can. <laughs> this way I can find their name, maybe. It's in my brain somewhere. I know it is, but. You guys know me. My brain is not. Uh... Fiber Studio. I was like, I know it's going to say Studio. This is from Fiber Studio. And I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. Once again, it's fall without just being like, fall, pumpkin spice. And I love that just, I mean, everything is so neutral. And then you have that beautiful pop of blue, bright blue with that. And there are recommended patterns that she has listed here on the back and the excuse me the links for those patterns so they're the ones that had uh, that beautiful queen of hearts colorway that i keep talking about this is from cheers to you they are in huntersville north carolina fiber studios here in charlotte And from Cheers to You, since it was our first time shopping there, we got a little pocket needle, ooh, needle tracker. So you can put what needles you have. We got a sticker with their shop name. We got this cool fancy letter. And it says, uh, Hand Eye Diva. And I bought a hank of DK Weight Hedgehog Fiber. I would have bought two if they had had two of this color. This is uh, Juniper. But it's a gray base with the bright neon pops. I've told you guys how much I love Hedgehog Fiber's use of neon and just brights. And I'm really enjoying the gray yarns with those pops and speckles of that neon. It's something I've been really into of late. Next up, we have Hearts on Fiber. So this is the one in Davidson, North Carolina. And they also have a dye studio. And I actually saw this as I walked in the door. And little buttons there for free. That's their logo. Now they sell online. But when I walked in the door, they have their soda shot collection right there in the front of the store. And this is their Town of Davidson collection. This is the soda shop yarn with the mustard mini. I saw this literally as I walked in the door and was like, oh my God, I love that. 
I walked the whole store to see like what my one skein from them would be, my one thing would be from them. And there were some other things that piqued my interest. I really liked some of the fingering weight cotton, like what Erica got, but this was still my favorite thing there. This was just the thing that had to come home with me. And I don't, once again, mustard isn't something I normally go for. That's not a color that I normally reach for, but that combination for some reason just spoke to me. So that's what I ended up getting. A lot of the sock sets from them are just phenomenal though. I'm not going to, if you don't want to be tempted, don't go to their website, but if you want to just check it out, they are so pretty. I will have the links in the description box down below, but yeah, this is Main Street Classics and I just, I'm in love. And apparently there's like a tag in here for a free phosphate from the, the actual like soda shop on Main Street in Davidson. <sighs> Davidson's one of those places where I'd move in a heartbeat. All right. Next, Stua. This is Charlotte Yarn. So I have... Uh, shared with you guys my shopping at Charlotte Yarn before. Last time I was there, I got this sock yarn and this sock yarn. They have rearranged and there's they're, they're in the process of putting things back up. So not all the sock was up Saturday morning when we were there. But once again, this is one of the first things that I saw when I walked in and I just kept coming back to it. I had to have it. I tried really hard to not buy fingering weight, but I ended up buying fingering weight, fingering weight, fingering weight, fingering weight. I did get a couple DKs, but still like there's a lot of fingering weight yarn here. So this is from Miss Babs, uh, inspired by nature, yummy two ply fingering weight, 100% superwash merino, 400 yards. And this is perfectly reckless. And I just had to have it. Unapologetically just had to have it. And it, like, oddly enough, I mean, there are so many things here that are just not what I would traditionally buy. But even all together, they're not unattractive. They don't, they wouldn't work in a project together, but... Like, you can still see, like, my color choices, but, like, these two actually do, if I had, uh, did it like a fade kind of arrangement, those would actually work very, very well together. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So, this is the last shop. And this was Knit One, Stitch Two, which was in Huntersville. So I got two bags. I also, she had chapsticks and tape measures. I never turned down a free tape measure, so I did grab the tape measure. I do have plenty of chapsticks right now. I, I've been hoarding up chapsticks. But from there, I purchased this set. Might help if I show you all the colors together. So it is a fade set. And this is from Earth Yarns. And there is a pattern in here for a shawl. Kind of looks like a drop stitch shawl, I think. Uh, I will not be doing that with it. <laughs> I will not be doing that with it. Um... And this was actually, this ended up being on sale, but this is 800 yards. And it is also a fingering weight fade set. But green, once again, they had purple. I really like the green. <laughs> so I did kind of branch out a little bit from like my normal, what you would expect me to buy colors. I mean, even with the pink on this one, but... You know, I kind of stuck with things I know I'm going to reach for. 
I do need to start doing better at buying DK weight instead of just fingering weight from these people, even if it means I have to buy two skeins. I think that's what it is, is especially with these independent dyers and dye shops, I really want to squish in and make something special. And when you're working with fingering weight, it generally has to be something very, very special when you're doing it. And so I, I tend to gravitate towards the fingering weight yarn because there are lots of beautiful one ball projects from socks to scarves to shawls, hats, fingerless gloves that you can do with one hank of fingerless yarn or fingering weight yarn. It's a little bit harder to find one ball projects for DK weight that you're not blending together. So I know kind of why my brain goes to the fingering directly but I've got to stop just buying fingering weight yarn. I have so much fingering weight yarn. I need to start buying more of the DK weight or even worsted weight of some of these things because I reach that more often because I use it quicker and I want to share these things and finished objects quicker. But I will probably actually do socks with this. This will probably be some sort of cowl or scarf. I'm definitely thinking around my face somewhere for this as well. This is going to be socks. I am not sure what I'm going to do with the Halloween minis. I don't really have a plan. Uh, I'm going to look at the pattern options for this that, she, that are recommended and see where I want to go. I have quite a few fade options or uh, scarf and shawl options that I can use with the fade kit. And I do have some more hedgehog in bright pink that is DK weight. So I might actually pair those in some sort of a striping situation or like sectional. I did when I bought this one, I did know I have a bright pink hedgehog DK somewhere in here, some somewhere in here. <laughs> And I was thinking I could pair this with either a bright pink or a bright purple and use one from my stash, one from the yarn crawl, and make a cohesive project with that. So even though I only was able to get the one skein of the Hedgehog DK, I did think about what I bought. But I'm very happy with all my purchases. I think I need to go on a buying freeze until the new year, though. Like I said, I'm unapologetic. Was gonna unapologetically purchase at the crawl, and just enjoy myself, just roll with it. But between what I got at the Southern Comforts Yarn Market and what I got at the crawl, and what I got at the Madeline Tosh Trunk Show, right now I have an overabundance of absolutely amazing sumptuous, beautiful, squish-tacular yarns that I need to use. And not that I need to use because I want them gone. I need to use them because I am dying to use them. They are so gorgeous. I haven't even put up my stuff from the Southern Comforts farm, uh, Fiber Market because I know what I want to do with so many of these things. And I just, I need time. I need time to do them. It's been very busy here. Every day has been something. And I like my work time has been very limited recently, but I just need time to work and enjoy and dive in and squish around in these things because I am so excited about what I have found recently. So anyway, that is what I purchased at the Charlotte area yarn crawl. Definitely check out the shop's websites down below in the description box and uh, see what they have because in particularly the Fiber Studio and Hearts and Fiber, they have just stuff <laughs> where you just, yeah. All right, you guys, take care. I love you and I will see you guys real soon. Bye, guys. I can't get my camera to turn off.